In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of retouching to a woman's face. So, uh, let's have a look at a photo. Okay, here's a, a photo I took of a, a girl called Yassi the other day. And uh, the photo is probably fine by itself. You know, getting all the camera settings correct before taking the photo instead of trying to correct it afterwards. But... It can be enhanced. Let me just. It can be enhanced because although the lighting's good, there's not enough saturation on her lips. So to or or her makeup could just be a little bit better, I think, or more more dramatic. So for this, what we could do is we can add a color into her lips without having to saturate. You know, use saturation. So if I go and add a new layer, new layer, but this time it's going to be transparency, so you're like you're drawing on a piece of cellophane on top of it. And let's go choose a colour, uh, I think kind of a red would be good. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the lips, and let's get the paintbrush again, let's get it a little bit smaller, and let's paint on her lips. Okay, give me a second to get this done. Okay, so that's the, the lips done, and you're probably thinking, Dom, that looks terrible, and you'd be right, it does look terrible. And even if we lower the opacity, it still looks a bit terrible. So this is where one of the layer modes comes in handy. And for this one, we use overlay. Da -da. And again, probably lower the opacity a little bit, just so it fades in, and let's zoom out. So there you go, there's how you, I've just added a stronger lipstick. There she was without, and there she is after. Now we could also do this with another part. Let's say her eyebrows up here. Let's say we wanted them to be a bit darker. So let's go for black or maybe a slight blue. Let's add a blue. And again, we will, let's do it on a new layer just so we can go back and change different things. So new layer, okie dokie. And then let's paint this. Okay, and that's some blue stuff put onto her bits above her eyes. And uh, again, it looks pretty rubbish. Let's zoom out. Okay, so that looks just a bit ridiculous. But again, if we go to the layer, Change it to overlay. Da -da. Okay, that is a bit extreme, and you can tell I'm definitely not a makeup artist, and my colours are a bit rubbish. But again, from nothing to add it, ooh, maybe a bit too much. That and just a little bit more. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, I don't quite know where you're meant to put these things. But effectively, that was the image before, and that's the image after. Now, if we want to also, let's say, make her skin softer, let's zoom in. Okay, so her skin is actually very, very good already, but let's see if we can... Okay, to blur the skin, what we need to do is add a new layer, and it's going to have to be a duplicate. No, oh, not that. Duplicate layer. Okay, and what we need to do, filter, blur. Gaussian Blur or Selective Gaussian Blur that can be usually a little bit more helpful and you've got a little bit of a preview window 5 let's go 6 ok and what you can see is it's a little bit blurry but there's still sharpness in her eyes but not a huge amount so what we need to do is go and add a layer mask uh, full opacity Yep. So it's still there, and then we can actually just use the eraser tool. And what we'll do is we'll erase out all the bits where we want it to be sharp. So certainly over the eyes, over the eyebrows, with a bit around here, over areas of the nose. Certainly want it to be sharp over the lips. So over the nose as well, get some of those freckles in. 
usually erasing the bits where there should be lines it helps it keep looking a little bit more realistic. So again, we can ew, we can actually see the layer mask, show layer mask, and that's what we've done. We can fill in some bits here which we know there should be, and make sure we do all those bits of the eyes. Those bits there. Okay, let's not show layer mask again. Okay, so there it is, sh nice sharp eyes, and then it's a case of flatten image. And there you go, that's your new image created by me. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.